हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन शेयर फाइल्स फ्रॉम ड्रॉप बॉक्स टू टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑटोमेटिकली सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दीस सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशंस आर ऑल अबाउट सो ड्रॉप बॉक्स इज अ क्लाउड बेस्ड स्टोरेज सर्विस फॉर स्टोरिंग एंड शेयरिंग योर फाइल्स एंड टेलीग्राम इज अ मैसेजिंग चैट और कम्युनिकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म so the idea here is that whenever you upload a new file in your dropbox account the file can be a photo or a video automatically the same file should be shared on your telegram account automatically for this we need to create a connection between dropbox and telegram so that whenever a new file is uploaded automatically the same file is shared on your social media platform or your messaging application that is telegram So to create a connection, we will be using a software application named Pabli Connect. So basically, Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating both these software applications automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So let us learn the integration process now on my screen. Welcome back to my screen. Here let us type p a b b l y pabli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option, and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you are going to get hundred task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the All App section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Dropbox to Telegram Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens. Action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to share our files from Dropbox to Telegram. Means whenever we upload a new file in our Dropbox account, the same file should be shared on our Telegram account also. So we have to create a connection between Dropbox and Pabli Connect first. So let's open this trigger window. and choose the application name as dropbox select the trigger event as new file click on connect click on add new connection and click on connect with dropbox authorization successful okay and now dropbox account is connected to public connect just because i was already logged into my dropbox account so make sure before creating a connection you are logged into your dropbox account now here we need to give the folder path check a specific folder for the new files so here we can see the instructions while checking a folder in folder name sample folder the folder path will be slash sample folder so i'll take you to my dropbox account where i have already created some folders over here so we are going to access this telegram files folder in dropbox account so we have to just copy this slash telegram files from here and we have to paste it over here as the folder path okay now before clicking on save and send test request first we have to upload a new file in this particular folder just because after clicking on this option it is going to capture the latest response so let's move to our folder named telegram files okay and here we are going to upload a new image from the system Okay, I am selecting this core integrations image. Here we can see that the image is getting uploaded. Okay, and here we can see the image is uploaded in our folder named Telegram files. Now let's move back to Pabli Connect, and now we have to click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received, and all the details related to the file are captured over here. Here we can find the name as Core Integrations dot PNG, as this is an image file. when we scroll down here we can find all other details the uh, date and time and here we can find the shareable link also this is the file link so now here i want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately 
but sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. So if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that and please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay. Now here there can be two conditions. The file can be an image file or the file can be a video file also. So we have to specify the conditions that if the file is an image file then what needs to be done and if the file is a video file then what needs to be done. So for applying a condition we are going to come to this action step and we have to choose the application name as routers over here. Okay. And here we have two routes, root 1 and root 2. So I'm just going to rename these routes by clicking on this three dots and click on rename. Let's give the root 1 as image. Okay. And let's click on update. And in the same way, I'm going to up, uh, rename this root 2 also as video. So here we have taken the two routes for the image files and the video files. If you are uploading some different type of files that is PDF or any other different type of file, then you have to specify the roots over here by clicking on this plus sign add, add root and you can just add the roots as per the file requirements. Okay. Now we are going to set the filter and action steps for both these roots. For that first click on this image root and click on set filter and action steps. And here we have to select the label as the file name. So come to Dropbox. And let us select the file name as core integrations.png. Filter type we have to select it as contains. And here we have to give the value as png. So if this particular file name contains png file, then only this workflow should run. Then we are going to apply this or condition also. There can be different types of image files. Okay. So first we have set for png file. And we, now we are going to set for the jpg file so if the file name contains jpg word then this workflow should run so we have set two conditions now now we are going to set the third condition also click on this or condition and again we have to select the file name from our trigger that is uh, core integration so if the file name contains jpeg okay so if the file name is containing png file then this workflow should run or the file name should contain jpg or the file name should contain jpeg then only this workflow should run. So we have set the three conditions over here and let's check the conditions by clicking on this save and send test request button. Okay and here we can see the status condition is true just because the file name was containing png file okay core integrations dot png. Now we are going to uh, send this particular file on our telegram account. For that click on this plus sign, add action step, choose the application name as telegram bot over here, select the action event as send a photo, click on connect, click on add new connection and now it is asking for the token. So you can follow these instructions to get your token or else I'll directly take you to my telegram account. So this is my telegram web. Here in the search bar we have to search for bot father. B-O-T bot and father. So this is the bot father. Click on it. And here we have to just click on this start button. Okay. Now here we have to type a message. That is slash new bot. So this will create a new bot over here. Alright, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So now it is asking us to choose a name for the bot. So let us give it as Dropbox underscore 1. Good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end, like, uh, end in bot. Okay. So let's give the username over here as Dropbox underscore one underscore bot done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this url so we have got the bot url over here and here we can see that it has provided us a token use this token to access the http api so we have to just copy this token from here and we have to paste the token over here in public connect okay 
and let's click on save. Okay, and now the Telegram account is connected to Public Connect just because I was already logged into my Telegram account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged in. Now here we have to give the chat ID. For that, I'll take you to my Telegram account. And here we have to just click on this particular bot that is Dropbox underscore one. Okay, so here we can see that our bot is ready. Okay, now we have to add this bot to a group. So we have two groups uh, already created over here that is Pabli users and Pabli integration. So this bot will help us in creating a connection between Pabli connect and our group that is telegram group. So I want all the uh, Dropbox files to be sent to this Pabli integration group. So I have to add my bot to this particular group. So I have to just click on Pabli integrations. We have to just scroll down and we have to just click on this plus sign add users. And here I'm just going to add my bot that is Dropbox underscore one. Okay, so I have added the bot. And here we can see now we have four members and Dropbox one underscore bot is added to our group. Now we have to give the admin rights to this particular bot. Okay, for that I have to access my mobile because from the Telegram web it is not possible. So I have just selected the bot in my mobile phone and I have given the admin rights. I have promoted it to admin. Okay. Now let's move back to public connect. And here it is asking for the chat ID. So from the URL we can get the chat ID. Dash 76908957. So this is our chat ID. So we have to simply copy this chat ID from here. And we will be pasting the same chat ID over here. Okay. Now it is asking for the caption. So I am going to give the caption from Dropbox and the caption will be our file name that is scoreintegrations.png and here it is asking for the URL file ID. So we have to map it from Dropbox itself and when we scroll down at last we can find the shareable link. Okay. Now let's scroll down. Here we have to give the pass mode as HTML and select the disable notifications as per your requirement. I am just keeping it as no and let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means our Dropbox file is shared on our Telegram account. Let's click on done and let's check our Telegram account. Okay, and here we can see that the core integrations image is shared on our Telegram account. And here we can find the file name as coreintegrations.png. Now we have set the first condition. The first route is set now that if we upload the image, it should be delivered on the Telegram channel. So our route one is ready now. Now we have to set the filter and action steps for the second route that is video. For that I have to just upload a new video file in my Dropbox account and we have to just click on save and send test request and we have to capture the file details over here in Public Connect. For that let's move to our uh, Dropbox account and I'm just going to upload a new file that is the video file from my system. Now here are the things to remember are the file size of the video. The video file size should not exceed 20 MB. Okay, so this is my shortest file that is river drone. And here you can see that the size is just 17 MB. So I'm just going to upload this particular video here. The video is getting uploaded. Okay, uploaded river drone shots. So here we can see that our uh, new MP4 file is uploaded over here in our Dropbox account. Now let's move back to public connect and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the response is received and now all the details of our video file are captured over here. Here we can find the file name as river drone shots dot mp4 and when we scroll down here we can find the shareable link also. Okay now we have to set the filter and action steps. Click on this particular button that is set filter and action steps for the second root video. Here we have to select the label if condition. So if the file name contains mp4 this time, then only this particular workflow should run. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see message condition is true just because mp4 do exist in the file name. Now we have to share it on our telegram account. Click on this plus sign add action step. Choose the application name as telegram bot over here. 
So like the action event as send a video this time. Click on connect. Now here we are going to select the existing connection just because we have recently created a connection in our previous step. Let's click on save. Now it is asking for the chat ID once again. So we have to move to our telegram account and we have to just copy this chat ID from here from the URL. So I'm just going to copy it and we'll be pasting the same over here in public connect. Okay. Now it is asking for the caption that is the file name. So let us map it from Dropbox. Now it is asking for the file ID or the URL. So come to Dropbox and let us map the shareable link over here. Select the pass mode as HTML and I am selecting the disable notifications as no and click on save and send test request. Okay and here we can see the response is received. It means our file is shared on our Telegram account. Let's check it. Okay, and here we, here we can see that our file uh, river drone shots mp4 is shared on our telegram group. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine. Let's move back to public connect and let us click on done. Now here we have set the two routes for the image files as well as the video files. If you want to add audio files or the PDF files, you can just add the routes over here as per your requirement. Now we are going to check this in the real time. Because we have created an automation between Dropbox and Telegram. So next time whenever you are going to upload a new file that is the image file or the video file in your Dropbox account. Automatically the same file will be shared on your specific Telegram group over here. So let's check in the real time by uploading a new file in our Dropbox account. Okay and this time I am just going to upload a new image. So let's move to my images section. And let us select another image from here that is new uses for public connect. Okay. So here we can see that a new file is uploaded over here that is new use cases for public connect.png. So this is the image file. Okay. Now let us check whether this file is shared on our telegram channel or not. So we have to just refresh it. So even after refreshing, we can find the file shared on our Telegram account just because I have already informed you that the trigger is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. Okay, and after 4 to 5 minutes, we can find our new file shared on our Telegram account. That is new use cases for public connect. And here we can find the file name also. That is new use cases for public connect.png. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. So let's move back to public connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have created an integration between Dropbox and public connect. Then public connect has captured all the details of the file that you have uploaded in your Dropbox account. That is your image file or your video file. And then using all those details we have set two routes that if the image is uploaded in your Dropbox account then it should check the condition that if the file name contains PNG, JPG or JPEG file then only the workflow should run and then only the image should get shared on your telegram account. And if the file name is the mp4 file, then only the workflow should run and it should share, get shared on your telegram account. So in this way, we have created a successful automation between Dropbox and telegram using public connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using public connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Public Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.